Welcome to Worship in the Word. Today we're uh, studying the subject, The Law is Our Schoolmaster Unto Christ. And we're turning to Galatians chapter 3, verse 5. He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Okay, so um, what the Apostle Paul is writing here is uh, a comparison of the law versus the work of the Spirit. And uh, he is saying, are these miracles accomplished because of uh, an obedience to the law? Uh, or are they uh, the result of faith in this in the working of the Spirit of God? And of course, it's a rhetorical question because it's uh, we can't work our way into miracles. It's by faith in the Word of God that uh, faith mixed with the Word uh, produces miracles. Okay, go ahead. Even as Abraham believed God. And it was accounted to him for righteousness. Okay, Abraham received a promise from God that uh, uh, he would have a child. Uh, he was uh, without children. And when he believed God, uh, uh, he received a name change from Abram, uh, which is exalted prince, to Abraham, which is father of many nations. And uh, he went for 25 years uh, with that name, with a new name, without having a child. But he had faith. His faith continued on for all that time. If you can imagine his wife introducing him to other people here, here's a uh, father of many nations and... Uh, and they would ask, well, where's your children? Well, God has promised. So he, he had extraordinary faith, and that faith uh, is, he is our father of faith. So go ahead. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Okay, so we see it right there in the Word that uh, if we can uh, have that faith, which is really the faith of God, uh, then we become uh, the children of Abraham. We are like him in faith, and that, that's our prayer is that, that we have that stalwart faith uh, in God. Uh, and, and so go ahead. And the Scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heaven through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. Okay. Because of his faith, uh, his faith went forth through uh, his children and his children's children all the way on down uh, through the Jewish nation and uh, even into the Gentiles, which we are grafted in to the root, which is Jewish, if you're a Gentile Christian. And uh, so we are inheritors of that wonderful faith. Okay, continue on. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Okay. So Paul is saying that the law is our schoolmaster uh, unto Christ. Now, Christ is not the name of the Messiah. The, the name of, of Messiah is Jesus. In Hebrews, Yeshua, uh, 
But Christ is a definition of who he is. He is the anointed one. In Hebrew, it's Yeshua Messiah, uh, Jesus the Messiah, uh, translated as, uh, uh, or Yeshua the Messiah, uh, translated as Jesus the Christ or the anointed one. So uh, our, our study in, uh, uh, in the Torah uh, will bring us to uh, an understanding of, of the anointed one of God, Jesus. Uh, the, the Bible uh, is filled with prophecies about uh, Jesus, the Messiah, what he would come from uh, the tribe of uh, Jesse, David. Um, you know, he would be born in Bethlehem and uh, just... Uh, one statistician said that uh, for one person to fulfill all of those uh, prophecies that were given, it would be comparable to having the state of Texas filled with silver dollars knee high and somebody picking one of those silver dollars. That's the mathematical odds of one person. Uh, so it's not... Um, mathematically possible but all things are possible with God and and God uh, uh, Emmanuel God with us uh, came in human flesh and he fulfilled all of those and um, and our study brings us uh, you study the Old Testament you study the prophets the Psalms it will take you to uh, the the feet of the uh, anointed one, Jesus. Okay. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male or female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Okay. So we are the recipients of, of, uh, of the faith of Abraham and, and how that faith led up to Messiah Jesus coming and uh, all the fulfillment of everything that he did and we become uh, the heirs of, of all of that uh, uh, Bible says we're joint heirs with Christ and uh, uh, the study that we're doing is a study of Teshuva and that is um, it's a study uh, teshuva is the Hebrew word for repentance, but it means more than just an act of contrition. And uh, if you've watched our other podcast, you've, uh, this is repetitive, but uh, we learn by repeating. Um, the Teshuva is a journey or a return to God. Uh, return, Peter called it a return to the shepherd and bishop of our soul. He's the one that created us. And uh, even though we've spent part of our life uh, ignoring him, um, we're at a point now where we're you're listening to this uh, podcast and and God is, is offering you the opportunity to, to come back to him. It's, it's like you've got a... Um, You've got a, a father that you, you had ignored for a part of your lifetime, and then you found out the guy was a multimillionaire mm -hmm. just waiting for you to come back to him. And this is the way it is. Uh, he, he's the master of, of the universe. He owns everything. And what, what the Word of God is saying here 
is that he wants to make you a co-inheritor of everything he's got. And, uh, and sometimes we, we fight against it. We think that, oh, we come to God, that, that we're going to be imprisoned. We're going to have to follow all these rules. It's, it's, it's not about rules. It's about a relationship with, with a God that loves you and a God that wants to see you reach the pinnacle of success and everything he created you to do. He has a plan for you. Uh, and this is what we're, um, we're talking about today. Go ahead. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Okay. So... Without uh, the redeeming work of Christ, we are under the law. We are under the judgment. Um, and uh, what happens when, when he redeems us is that he sets us free uh, from the law of sin and death. Um, and uh, he gives us a new life and we become heirs of his. Okay. And because ye are sons, God had sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Okay. So, what he's saying here um, is that um, he's not just some obscure uh, being out there that we can't connect with. He's saying, uh, Abba, Father, means like uh, if you, you, you're a, a young child and um, you see your father and, uh, he's, uh, and he's waving over and you, you run up to him and you say, Daddy, Daddy. This is what that means in, in Hebrew. It's, it's close and personal where, where he, he, he wants you to have that kind of relationship with him where you can say, Daddy, <laughs> Abba, Father, hey, thank you, God, for creating me. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for the opportunities, Lord. And he just wants to hear uh, love coming from you, and he wants to pour out his love on you, and he, he, he wants to, uh, to let you know that that uh, your name is is on uh, as a an heir, uh, just like you're on a will. There, there was uh, a time when I was doing some work for uh, a uh, a fellow that was a multimillionaire, uh, and uh, he had no children, <laughs> and uh, I did a job for him and. He was complaining about it. he didn't have any uh, sons. I, I told him, I said, well, if you could adopt me if you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> I put myself up for that. Uh, and he kind of gave me a funny look. But God wants to adopt you, and, and, and he's, he's got you in a will that you're going to be a co-inheritor with him. This is what the Word of God says. So uh, he's created, and Jesus said, confirmed it. He said, "Hey, uh, don't worry. I've I've got a mansion for you, mm -hmm. not just a little a trailer park." Or <laughs> as a kid, I spent a lot of time camping and camp, not just a camp tent or something, uh, but like that. Uh, no, he he's got he's got something phenomenal. Uh, for you in the future uh, as a co-inheritor and he has 
a wonderful life now uh, for you if you'll begin this uh, journey of repentance, this teshuva, uh, I guarantee you'll see some miraculous things. If you apply your faith uh, to the Word of God, like the Bible says here, you're going to see miracles. Uh, I don't know what the miracles will be, but perhaps something that you've prayed for for years, and, uh, and God's waiting to do that miracle for you. Praise God. Thank you for joining us today, and God bless you. Bye.